Ciao, everyone. Before we get started today, we want to make sure you have your glass of wine. If not, go get it because salute. Salute. We are back in Abruzzo. We have a charming hillside town next to majestic mountains. Look at that. That is exquisite. Wow. Love it. I love it. This one might surprise you because we've never done a mm -hmm. home with frescoes. And this one has the most magnificent yeah. frescoes everywhere. Absolutely. One reason we haven't done them in the past is we see properties that have them and they're not very well maintained. Sometimes we see some water damage and we don't want to get into anything like that. Yep. But we went through this place and everything is perfect. Not only are there frescoes, there are original floors like these. Look how beautiful those are. And look at the walls. Yeah. All of the detail here, I love it. You know what? I can't wait. Let's get into it. Let's see where this adorable town is located in Abruzzo. It's wow. in Chieti, Perfect. surrounded by mountains. And look at the size of the town. I think that's perfect for us. We like it not too big, not too small, right in the sweet spot. That is the sweet spot. This property is in Torricella Poligna, or yes. as our good friend Reno says in Italy, take it away. Hey guys, Reno from Sopa Abruzzo, today from Torricella Poligna. Torricella Poligna. Thank you, Reno. <laughs> Um, if you haven't seen his channel, it's One Stop Abruzzo. Check it out. He's definitely one of the nicest, if not the nicest guy in this space. This home is $173,000. It's a three bedroom, two bath, almost 2,400 square feet. That's big. It has balconies and it has a garage of over 400 square feet. Perfect. So how do you get there? The airport is a little bit over an hour away and the train station is what, 39 minutes? Yep. A little bit over a half hour, perfect. So we did planes and trains and now automobiles. Lauterbrunnen is 10 hours away. Florence is five hours away. Naples is three hours away. And Rome is also three hours away. One of the reasons that Lauterbrunnen is on here is because of this yep. view. We have been looking at Lauterbrunnen for a few years, maybe longer, and we really want to go there. Okay, if you're not sold, watch this. <gasps> Multiple waterfalls off of cliffs, okay? The waterfalls are so tall, you can't even really see them moving, you know? <laughs> and look at this cute little town and the perfectly green grass right in the valley yep. and the Alps and the snow and the beautiful clean air. I can just smell life, like clean, beautiful life. I want to go there with this chick. Yep. Here's an aerial view of the town. And then here is where the home is located. Cute. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> in this week's video, we are going to have two wanders. <laughs> the first one, is outside of the town where we can see the beautiful scenery and check out the hillside off in the distance. Wait do you see this, this is beautiful. Let the wandering begin. Look at those mountains. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> right, it's so beautiful. I love the way the clouds look hanging over the mountains I like know, that too. Right? The roads look like they're in great shape. Okay, yeah, let's check it out. Good, right? Let's see what we have. Not a dirt road. Not a dirt road, no. that's nice. I don't even yep. see potholes. <laughs> and I don't see sheep getting in my way or cows like, uh, what was it, leap year? That's a great one too. Oh, yeah. Um, and then off in the distance right there is the town. Look how pretty. Would you like to say, I live there? Absolutely. I live. Yep. Okay, let's check out this property. This is the property. It was a palace in the 1800s and now they've broken it up into three apartments. One that we're going to look at right now. And this is the beautiful front door. You walk through those beautiful front doors oh. into the former palace atrium. That's unbelievable. Look at the pillars oh. and the arch and the molding on the ceiling. Those are beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's stunningly okay. beautiful. Yeah. I this love it. This is very ornate and very regal. When you enter your share of this palace, you are in this hallway, which leads to all of the spaces in the property. 
I mean, look at the floors. floors look at, ceiling. I mean, the mirror and the ceilings and the walls. Okay. You walk into this beautiful ballroom. This is room one of this property. These floors and frescoes are beyond beautiful. <laughs> I mean, to say you have a ballroom yeah. in your home? You know what I would do if I lived there? What? I would take out all the furniture and I would put a massage table in the middle and people can come massage me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Here is another angle. You can see how large it really is. So big, in fact, that whoever lives here has set up two living rooms in one right? space. <laughs> and you still have a big area in the middle for something, I don't know. For ballroom dancing, of For course. ballroom dancing. One, two, three, one, two, three, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's good. Let's take a moment to really appreciate the gorgeous frescoes. Look at the detail here. So, mm. so beautiful. Like I said, it's all in great shape no water damage or anything. This is like, I mean, this should be a museum. Right, it's so pretty. And it should be way more than $170,000. That seems crazy to me. And all the frescoes were restored in 2000. So they're maintaining the frescoes on the property. Absolutely. That is a chandelier, babe. I know. I know. You have sconces on the wall, and then look at the encasement around those doors. That is quintessential 1800s woodworking. Beautiful. Looking at the other side of this beautiful room, you have two doorways that lead out to a balcony which gives you a village view. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that village looks really well maintained. I like the streets and All the, the trees. trees down the streets. Right. I'm, I'm really vibing on this place. Right. Mm -hmm. This is another very large space that can be used as a dining room. Look at those floors. Again, beautiful chandelier, and you know, not too much of a fresco on the ceiling, but I like it. It's a little understated in this room. If every room's crazy, the whole place would be a little too crazy. I love it. So again, you can see the size of this space. Looks like there's a little wood burner over yeah. there on the side. Again, the ceilings, another door leading out mm -hmm. to the balcony. Really pretty. Look at this balcony. Again, a shot down there, and okay, now we're talking. Here's another angle. I see some mountains over there, and is that a sea view? That's what it they is said. a sea yep. view. Two weeks in a row, we brought you sea views. Coming in from the balcony after looking at those splendid views, you then can go into the kitchen. Okay. Do I feel like I'm in Puglia for some reason? Oh, the big ceilings, right? I mean, this is a giant space. Is is a kitchen? in the ballroom in this place. <laughs> Seriously. You know, you could maybe play tennis in there, I think. <laughs> and then make afterwards, what would we make after playing tennis in the kitchen? Uh, pasta. Pasta. I was thinking a club sandwich. We can elevate our club sandwich. <laughs> um, or we can just do a simple grilled cheese with maybe a little bacon on it, you know? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I like where your head's at. Here's another look at that big kitchen. Mm -hmm giant ceilings, has a fireplace. We would probably put an island in there because there's sure. so much room and then you get a little more counter space yeah. to cook, prep some food. Again, look at this. Awesome, those ceilings are yeah. just, woo! It's giant. This is the first of three bedrooms in this palace. I mean, I love the ceilings in this one. Mm -hmm. It's not overdone, but it's no. still ornate. I mean, I could sleep in there for sure. And here is the bathroom mm -hmm. off of that bedroom. Yeah. Pretty floors. The tile might be a little crazy for some folks, but it looks super clean in there. Works yeah, for it, us. It definitely looks new, fresh, and clean, even though it has a little 70s vibe. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and there is our cute, cute bidet. bidet. And another space that they're using for an office. You could use it for a bedroom or whatever mm -hmm. you need with a balcony. Again, look at the ceilings, the floors. So I mean, pretty. Look at that chandelier, beautiful. Like we said, three bedrooms in this palace apartment. This is the third one. High ceilings, again, as usual. Beautiful space. You know, makes me want to drink some wine. Salute. <laughs> Salute. Another view of this room to see just how big these spaces are. 
the fabulous ceilings, the floors. I'm yeah. just, woo! It's a lot of space. And really? Gabe, uh, why are there four chairs at the foot of the bed? I don't know what was going on there. I don't see a tripod, so that's good. Maybe it's just for a grandmother is in there and their family Aww, comes in and they're there to help. drinking some wine or coffee or doing whatever they we're do. We're gonna say they were visiting yeah. with grandma. Visiting yeah, with grandma. Not. So a lot of you have told us that you don't mind the occasional renovation. Mm -hmm. This bathroom would probably need a little bit of renovation depending on your needs. I see a little bit of concrete underneath the sink. Yeah, and, new mirror, some know. paint, maybe replace the toilet and the cute bidet. Yeah. You could reconfigure it a little bit, but since a lot of you like that stuff, yeah. here you go. Do some updating. Before we head outside, just one more shot of beautiful mm. floors. I want them now. So here's looking at the side of the house and then right below there is where your garage is. Beautiful. About 430 square feet, yeah. which is great. So if you were using it as a holiday home, you could keep your car in there. Perfect. Before we do some more need to knows, we have to thank the channel supporters, John, Thank you for the coffee. Mm -hmm. Nick and Quante, thank you for the coffee and for buying something from our we store. We love you guys. Yep. Thank you, Meryl, for the coffee and for also being our first Buy Me A Coffee member. Wow, thank you You guys much. are also awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We really love you guys. So if you watched last week's video, you also saw that we're featuring some really sweet comments. You're taking the time to leave them, so we're going to take the time to feature a few of them each week. So Dan CRS foot. Dancer's I, foot. It's dancer's foot, okay. Gene. Which is perfect because we have the uh, ballroom That's space. That's right. So this one's for you. I always think I'm happy on Friday because it's the weekend and then I realize no, it's because there is a new Wandering with Wine video to watch. Thanks as always. Well, thank you very thank much. You, we Jean. appreciate that. And Amy, love my Friday night show. It gives me a lot to look forward to. Wonderful find. That's so nice. sweet. We really look forward to it too. We do. Yeah. Okay, and Sandrine from a couple weeks ago, you guys got us to grab a glass of wine and sit with you to discover the properties you are showing. Your channel is seriously so much fun, simple and down to earth. Thank you for sharing properties that you really like and not over the top residences. You know what? Feels like we could probably hang out with you and drink some wine, <laughs> of course. So cheers to you, salute. Thank you all. Mm -hmm. All right, babe, would you like to wander through the town with me? Yes, babe. All right, let's do this. So as you go, there's a big green space, there's a park, there's a kiddo Forest. playground. Yeah. It's a really awesome little area. Too bad there's no mountains in the background. <laughs> uh, no mountains at all, mm -mm. none. Look at that, snow-capped mountains. Yes, love it. So great. The place I looks very well kept. Yeah. Right, and they're doing some renovations there. Yeah. Right there on the left was a little market. Cute. Laundry if you need it. Mm -hmm. Cafe. <laughs> some shopping. Nice. There's another cafe. Restaurant. There's a lot of stuff on the street, yeah. which is so nice. A bar. Yeah. I could see us drinking some wine, kind of shooting down this street here. There's another bar. Yeah, Sounds another great. cafe. Mm -hmm. And then down here, a supermarket Love and it. the pharmacy. So all of this is on the same road together. And then right here is where the property is. Okay. You have all of that on the same street as the home. I'm in. So are you. Okay, there are five restaurants in town, and this is one right next to the property. Yep. I mean, you walk out your door and you have this place and you have breakfast, lunch, or dinner, probably some coffee, some snacks, gelato. Is snacks. that a convenience store? What is that cute it stuff over like there? It, right? All right, I think this uh, 20 feet away might have everything you need. And here is one of the local restaurants. And of course, Al Fresco dining for the Jamie one. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's why it's in there. Mm -hmm. Babe. It's too bad they don't have any pasta in this town. Oh, they mm. do. They have to. Oh, <laughs> pasta! <laughs> and here is a charcuterie with the four food groups of Italy. Meat. Bread. Cheese. Vino. Vino. Wandering with vino. Vino. There are three grocery stores to cook food in that giant kitchen and serve <laughs> yeah. 
137 people in your ballroom. <laughs> you can make it an event space, actually. That's right. That's Jeez. right. There are two bakeries in town, and there are two butchers. There are three bars in town. <laughs> And you want to elevate your drinking mm -hmm. and you go to a winery. Okay, it seems like there's one or two in the general. There's area. just a few here. There's not a lot. <laughs> there are a lot of pink dots on that map. And the closest is only a half an hour away. Perfect. So this week, instead of showing a winery, we are showing a wine resort. <laughs> okay, what? let's just move there. <laughs> I didn't know these existed. All right, a wine house, tastings in the barrel room. Yep. I could see us spending a lot of time there, maybe with some of you. So I think in the future, yes. we may hopefully find ourselves in that situation. All right, real quick, speaking of wine, as we do, what are we drinking tonight, babe? We are not drinking wine from Italy tonight. No. We have Which our sort of shameful. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but we have one of our house wines, and this is a cab. It's Corvelia. It's from Paso Robles. It's one of our favorites. I think this is a nine dollar bottle. Ten bucks. Ten bucks at Trader, at Trader Joe's. Joe's. <laughs> Time for some need to knows. If you have too much fun at the wine resort and you need to go to the go hospital. Go to the hospital. I drank too much wine. <laughs> hopefully that is not the case. And hopefully there's a doctor there. Only, okay, what, 26 minutes away. 26 minutes away. <laughs> and there is a doctor, doctor in, in town. town. And there is one, one tooth, tooth in, in town. town. And there are two pharmacies in town. One was right down the street from the property. Perfect. And for Zoe and Maui, we have a veterinarian 27 minutes away. Ooh, 27. 27! Our lucky number, and we were married on the 27th. Yep. What, 18 years ago? Yep. What were you, 10? When we got <laughs> married? Time for some fun stuff. Skiing, 52 minutes away. And there's a shot from the chairlift, babe. I like Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Yep. Hiking. There are trails right down the street from the property and then multiple in the surrounding areas. Golf. Let's go 58 minutes away. It's a little far, but you know what? If you get a hankering for some golf, you drive an hour because it's worth it. Where's, Where's the, the beach? beach? It is just under 40 minutes away. So this looks pretty cool. I'd like to sit under one of those. Yeah, I Drink can a little that. vino, take a look at the water. Okay, there's the coast. Beautiful. And something else fun in town, right across the street from the property, they have lawn bowling. I don't know what lawn bowling is, <laughs> but I'm probably gonna try it. It's kind of like bocce ball from what I read. Okay. Yep. There is one post office in town. Just steps away from the house, which is nice. Mail a postcard, make people jealous, I love it. And one school. Two schools. Two schools, <laughs> one minute away. Both elementary schools. Mm-hmm. There is a furniture store in town, and there is also a clothing store in town. Yep. And just outside of town, about a half an hour away, is a spa. And then about 10 minutes away is a hair salon. Perfect. Also in town, movie theater, jewelry store, shopping center, electric vehicle charging station, and a farmer's market. I mean, there's everything you need okay. here. And, and a gym. gym. <laughs> Only half an hour yeah, away. Okay. Yeah. There are four hardware stores in town. There is an auto parts store in town. There is a gas station in town. And there's that electric vehicle charging station. Perfect. Let's talk about temps, baby. How hot we can be. Song and a dance again. Well, let's talk about temps. Let's do it. A high, an average high of 70 degrees in the hottest month, which is 22 degrees for... All you Celsius people. Yep. Um, the humidity is okay. Yeah, a little muggy. It's comfortable, a little humid, a little bit muggy. I mean, this actually looks very nice. Pleasant. Mobile and internet. Verizon 5G. It's like 5G everywhere. Wintray 4G plus 4G. Iliad 4G plus 4G. 
Tim, Tim, <laughs> Tim, Tim is back. Um, someone commented, Marsha, Marsha, that we should probably file a missing persons report for Tim. Guess yeah. what? We found him. Safe and sound. The hounds found him. We brought him <laughs> back and he opened his business and Tim has all kinds of coverage in this town. Oh, and Starlink is available all throughout Italy. And Starlink Italy. is available all throughout <laughs> Italy. We're just very so cute, happy Tim cute. is back. Yeah, I've, things are crazy. Tim is back. All right, buddy. Love you. All, all is right in the world That's again. That's right. <laughs> um, I intentionally did that for you. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Does Amazon deliver? <laughs> Jamie did this one you don't to need me. to read all of it, but... Um, Mix Tim Juan. Okay, Tim. Tim, Tim is back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a Calipiati to Ripiano, Scalapiata da Apagio per Lavello Cucina, Scalapiata de Grande Cappuccino in Asia, Asia oh, in a Sasa della Bless. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. Um, but uh, Tim is back and. In more ways than one. In more ways than one. <laughs> and Tim is two to five days delivery. Okay, guys, here is our checklist for this property. There is no air conditioning. Mm. There is a fireplace. Mm. Beautiful floors everywhere. Gorgeous frescoes everywhere. We should have two checks for gorgeous ceilings. Right? It's the most beautiful ceilings of any property we've done so far. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Garden, no. A view, yes. You have a village view. You have a little peak of view, sea view. Yeah. Some mountains. And that's that's on three balconies, right? Yeah, multiple balconies. Yeah. And yeah. then you have that garage, four hundred and twenty. Yeah, four thirty square. Four hundred thirty square feet. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of space. All right, here is the property information one more time for you guys. Torricella Pelina. Pretty good. Meh. Let me try well, Reno. Reno would be happy with that. I no, he wouldn't. So. No. Go ahead. What, what would what would Reno say? Torricella Paligna. There we go. There we go. $173,000. And one thing I think is worth mentioning that I don't think we bring up enough. We're not saying that this home is negotiable, but a lot of properties in Italy are negotiable. And they say it's usually between 10 to 15%. So that's something to take into consideration if you're ever thinking about making an offer on something. For sure. 173, I'd come in strong. 140, see what happens. You never know, you never know. Maybe you get it for 160, maybe 155, who knows. Okay, a three bedroom, two bath, 2,400 square feet, plus three balconies? Multiple balconies. Yeah, I think it's three balconies. It's three. And 430 square foot garage. I mean, there is so much space in here and this place is opulent. As always, thank you for joining us. We love our little W3 community. Mm -hmm. And big surprise, we are wandering to a brand new region next week. Any guesses as to where we're going? Leave it in the comments below. Yeah. As we always say, we love you guys. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you know we're here every Friday at 6 p.m. We have not missed one week since we started this channel in early November 2023. We might miss one when I turn 85. That's how serious we are about this, right? So we will see you next week. Salute. Salute and bye.